taking gunmen again attack police station in Enugu key officers. <laughs> My beautiful people, as you can see, this is becoming something else. This one don't pass the government already. But the problem is that they don't even know that there is a problem on ground. You know, I usually say this, that when one has a problem and you, you don't know that you have a problem, that problem will kill you. And the day they will bury you, they will still bury you with, you, bury you with that problem. That is just what we are facing right now. It seems that our leaders, they are not aware of all this problem. Because sometimes when they talk, it will look as if these people, they are not even here in this country. Can we say that they are not seeing what is happening? They are not hearing? But why are all these things? Everything in Nigeria is gradually becoming unknown. What are they trying to tell us? Are these people wearing masks? This government have to do something. Because Nigeria Wahala don't too much. I don't talk on before. See, be like the problem self don't pass the people when they handle the matter. You get. And that is the reason why till now we have not found any lasting solution to the problem bedwelling this country. Boko Haram is there. Banditry is there. Unknown gunmen is here. And Fulani S men killer. They are there. Talking about people agitating for their own nation only here. The question is, how are they going to start? Because they don't even know how to start it. And they, don't, they are not even ready to listen to people. They are not ready to take advices. And this is where the problem lies. Anybody that does not take advice, you know they go far for life. Now it happens so. They prefer to blame the other administration, the time when this person did. Now, so it be. It was a shocking when the governor of Castina State said last week that Buhari is trying so much in this country that is is even Buhari that is tolerating people for taking all the rubbish from people. This is the man that have about 85% uh, of bandits in his uh, state killing every day by day. Now the ones when they are not deceived for social media, if not every day, Zafara State, Ban, uh, uh, Casino State, all these places, these people, they kill every day by day, then they kidnap every day by day. It can't just be like, say, people say they don't tire to their NASA. You get so you see, our leaders, they are not ready to learn because they don't want to learn. You get. Anyway, guys, make it not be like that. They talk too much. Let's get straight to the news and get the full details. But if you are here for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for always stopping by. I really do appreciate. Now the news reads in details. Some gunmen have reportedly attacked the divisional police headquarters in Adani, in Ozo, one local government area of Inugu State. The attack was said to have happened in the early hours of on Wednesday, according to Daily Post. Two of the police officers on duty were reportedly killed and several others injured while the police station was burnt. Sources confirmed that the attack on the police station started around 2.30 a.m. and lasted for about one hour. In recent weeks, police stations in the southeast and, so and south... Sorry. In recent weeks, police stations in the southeast and some states in the south-south have been attacked by unknown gunmen. Though the immediate former Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, accused the indigenous people of Biafra and its security wing, Eastern Security Network, of being behind the attacks. IPOB has eventually denied the allegation. On Monday, some hoodlocks also attacked a police headquarters in Ukpo, Anambra State. Nigerians who have reacted to this have this to say, 
This new trend of police protests is a welcome development. They, police, should keep on burning their station till the government listen to their cry. Police are human beings. They deserve a good life. The unknown gunmen clashed with the police. Life mistakenly lost and station accidentally caught fire. Police PRO, when contacted, said that everything is under control and urged the law-abiding citizens to go about their lawful businesses. If you can know that this this one is talking in uh, radios. All right, someone said that they had work of of hoodlums from from Chad protesting the death of their president. May God console them. Why will I even support anyone to be to still be in any country called this Nigeria? I can never do that. If you die, you will die for nothing. Look for another job or work before the end of the month. You will be surprised to see a better money. Then that law bloody hell, stress token, charge, change money that does not worth your life. All right, someone said, yeah, one Nigeria can never be based on a business decision. Maybe a, a Lugard, a Flora, or any other foreigner, not by the force or a tribalized uh, Nigerian army, or by the empty slogan that Nigeria is one. The decision to stay in one nation is a matter of the popular. Why we we all the people sorry i don't really get that correctly okay killing of uniformed men have multiplied in recent times it's highly time the general government allow ipop and other secessionists to go we are on top of the situation says by nigerian police and of course we will make sure that the perpetrators that committed this the crime are brought to book, so we urge the law abiding citizens to go about their normal businesses. So, hi guys, I'm gonna drop it here. Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your view below the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.